Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the Carol's Christmas ornament, which you can see here in the photo. I also have a couple of completed ones here for you to look at. Uh, these are very easy to work Christmas ornaments. They feature a little bit of texture. Uh, but not too much and they're worked around these uh, metal rings which make it very easy to uh, help maintain their shape. Now uh, for the ornament today you can find the free written crochet pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com if you are joining me for the Christmassy crochet along which is happening right now on my blog. This is week four so welcome. For the Carol's Christmas ornament, we are going to need about 20 yards of a lightweight yarn. Uh, in the picture, I used a Lion Brand shawl and a ball, which is a number four weight yarn, but I find it a little bit on the thinner side. So I recommend if you are substituting for a different yarn, as I'm going to do in the video today, I recommend looking for that yarn with the number three on the label. You'll want a lightweight. Today I'm going to be using the Patton's Grace cotton yarn. You're also going to be needing a four millimeter crochet hook and a three inch metal ring. And this ring I found at my local craft store. It has a three inch uh, diameter. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, while you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look at some of the other crochet patterns and stitch tutorials there and I'm sure you'll find something you like. So let's grab our hooks and our yarn and uh, we're going to crochet this Carol's Christmas ornament together. Our crochet pattern today is worked in rounds and it's worked starting at the center of our ornament here and worked out so you don't quite need your metal ring yet. Instead, you're going to take your yarn and you're going to start by making a slip knot. Once you have made your slip knot, you're going to chain two. For round one, you're going to work six single crochet stitches into the second chain from your hook. So all six We'll go into that second chain. There's two, three, four, five, and six. And then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. Do not turn your work. For round two, you're going to chain three and this counts as a double crochet stitch. Work one double crochet stitch into the same stitch as joining and then work two double crochet stitches into each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round you're going to have a total of 12 double crochet stitches. Once you've worked your 12 double crochet stitches, join with a slip stitch into the third chain, into the top of that starting chain. Do not turn your work. For round three, you're going to chain one, and we're now going to work the first of our front post double crochet stitches. So the first stitch is going to be worked around the post of the same stitch that you joined in. So uh, yarn over, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of the stitch below, working from the front through to the back and out through the front again. Yarn over and draw up a loop with three loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through two yarn over pull through two. That is your front post double crochet. You're then going to chain one and work a front post double crochet around the next stitch. You are now going to repeat that 
all the way around. Chain one and front post double crochet around the next stitch. When you come to the beginning, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. Once you come around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. And that brings you to the end of round three. For round four, you're going to chain one and work a front post double crochet around that same stitch is joining. And when I work this first one, I work it around both the chain one and the post of that double crochet. So front post double crochet, chain two, and front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Repeat that all the way around, chain two, front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. When you come all the way around, you'll chain two and then join with the slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round four, you join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. Do not turn your work. For round five, you're going to chain one, front post, double crochet around the same stitch as joining, chain three, and front post, double crochet around the next stitch chain three and front post double crochet around the next stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of your round five, join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch and do not fasten off. At this time, you can put your crochet down and we're going to take our metal ring and just kind of place it right over top. We're now going to work our final round six and we're going to work that uh, by working around both the chain space and the stitches and this metal ring. So once you place it over top you can pick up your loop again and chain one. You are then going to work into the same stitches joining and work one single crochet. So insert your hook through the top of that stitch and around your ring yarn over pull up your loop and complete the single crochet. So you should be working in the top of the stitch and around your metal ring. Next, into the chain three space, you're going to work three single crochet stitches. Again, continue working around both the chain space and your metal ring. single crochet into the next double crochet stitch still working around your ring and then into the next chain space work three single crochet you're going to repeat this all the way around where you will join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch On your round six, once you've come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. And we're now going to work a quick hanger uh, so that we can hang up our ornament. So what you're going to do for your hanger is you're going to chain 20. and 20 and then you're just going to slip stitch back down 
into that first stitch, fasten off, and then weave in your ends and you're all set to go. Your Carol's ornament is now complete. So thank you so much for joining me for this quick tutorial on how to make the Carol's Christmas ornament and uh, while you're here take a look around. I invite you subs to subscribe and uh, come back tomorrow for the next Christmas ornament in this Christmassy crochet along. Until then, happy crocheting! Bye! Mm -hmm.